everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I just want to say thank you so much for 100,000 views on one of my most popular videos. And it's about XXX Tentacion and his uh, untimely death and whether or not he sold his soul to the devil. So if you want to check that video out, you can take a look at it up here. Thank you so much. Today we're talking about a brand new music video and song from Cardi B and Meg The Stallion called WAP or WAP or mm, there's some other uh, there's some other ways people have said it but I'm not going to say it on this channel because I don't want to get demonetized. I need my money. Uh, we're talking about it today because it is blowing up on the internet. Obviously it's Cardi B, right? It's Meg The Stallion. So obviously there's going to be some, some ruckus. There's going to be some talk about it. So let's talk about it. I'm going to be telling you my reaction to the song and music video. I'm not going to put any thing on the screen because literally every scene, every single scene of this music video is liable to get me demonetized and I am not willing <laughs> to do that. Uh, not just because of the money but because I don't want any lewd images on my videos. It's just, it's not a good look. It's not good for the brand, okay? So I'm just going to be describing to you what I saw and you guys obviously can take a look at it for yourselves, okay? The music video was actually let's put it this way all right the song was great I, I think the song was done very well the lyrics were very nasty right um and on top of that i think though the beat the the music itself that the the lyrics were connected to was really good the beat itself i would drive down the street and listen to but the lyrics i just i wouldn't i wouldn't uh drive down the street and listen to that for for any reason uh and for legal reasons i did i hated the music video it was a bunch of ugly women and they were all disgusting looking and I married, happily married, and I love my wife. Let's talk about what the deal is, right? So this music video is nasty, all right? If you haven't seen the music video, please go watch it. So one of the first parts of the music video that got to me the most, honestly, is the statue that you see when you first zoom in on the mansion that they're all in. And the statue is of like two women who are knelt down and there's water coming out of their chests. And that to me was just a clear indication of as to what we were getting ourselves into when it came to this music video. So we get into the mansion and here's Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion dancing. You know what I'm saying? You see him dancing, coming down the hallway and then Cardi B starts the song. And let me tell you something, I wasn't necessarily expecting uh, this song to be the cleanest song of all. I definitely wasn't expecting Kids Bop to make any type of remix to it. But I was not expecting it to be so nasty that I had to turn it down as to not disturb the peace in my house of the people who are dwelling within. I felt like I had to take a actual shower after listening to the song. And mind you, I've been married for many years, okay? I am familiar with what they're talking about on this music video, but I just did not feel comfortable listening to it. It just was nasty, okay? So some of the funniest lines from the from the song is Cardi B saying, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got this ring to um, Meg Thee Stallion talking about if you eat, if you eat my bottom, my backside, you're a bottom eater. There's so many, so many lines in this song that you could really take away from. And I really want to just talk about some of the people they had in the music video, uh, like Kylie Jenner. Now, I watched Kylie Jenner, and first of all, before we get into that, I saw all these other women in this music video. They were dancing, right? They were popping it back and forth. They were putting their leg up and doing all types of tricks i would never seen before. And especially Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion, they actually, they legitimately surprised me with the amount of dancing and choreography that went into the song and the music video. I was impressed, okay? But let's talk about Kylie Jenner. Now, I've seen so many people get on a music video and do nothing. But, but Kylie did a special type of nothing. She did a type of nothing that made you think she did something by the way she looked at the camera. But then you realize she did absolutely nothing. She did as much in the music video as I'm doing right now in the music video. Nothing. And the way she walked off camera, I saw a comment that said she walked off camera like she dropped the hottest verse of 2020. And that's, I think this is why Cardi B said this particular uh, thing on her Twitter page. So. I, I was doing some research on the song and I saw that Cardi B talked about Kylie Jenner on Twitter. And what she said was, my song, WAP, was meant to empower women. And I wanted the video to reflect that by including women of all races, all backgrounds, all types and talents. 
Kylie was there because I felt it was important to have someone representing women with no talent. <laughs> And then, and then the, um, and then Meg the Stallion commented underneath uh, Cardi B's comment on Twitter. Meg the Stallion commented, "Yeah, diversity heart emoji." Listen, <laughs> I I understand the internet's frustration with Kylie Jenner. Um, of course, everyone calls her a, a, a baby from money, right? I mean, she became the world's youngest billionaire or whatever off the backs of the work that her sisters did. And yeah, you know, she has her product line, but we all know that came from other means. But I, I, I at least thought that we understood Kylie Jenner was a model at the very least, right? So what Kylie did on the video with her cheetah print outfit was, or leopard print, she was walking down the hallway, right? And she looked at the camera and she modeled the dress. She's a model. Now this is what this comment tells me. And this is what I'm getting from the internet as a whole. Being a model is not anything to brag about, number one. And number two, being a model requires no talent. That's what I'm getting. Because if we, are, if we all have a, a basic understanding that she is a professional model. If Kylie Jenner has no talent, then we are all agreeing right now on this video that models don't have any talent and it takes no talent to be a model. I just wanna make sure we understand each other and that we're on the same page because I think that Kylie Jenner really thought she did something in this video and I'm not sure how many people told her she didn't do anything, right? It actually reminds me of that uh, one commercial uh, I forgot which Jenner did it, the commercial with the Pepsi, remember when she was in the middle of a, like a protest and she handed a Pepsi to a police officer and it brought world peace? Like, I think there's a mindset here with the Jenners where they think they do something, but they 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 missed it just by a little bit. But anyway, the rest of the women in the music video did very well. I thought the music video was done very nicely. Whatever mansion they were in was beautiful. Uh, I wasn't really feeling the whole tigers having sex thing. I thought that was weird. Um, wasn't really a fan of that. I thought the... Uh, imagery was well done when it comes to the colors, like the black and white scene that Meg Thee Stallion was in, or even the scene with um, uh, Cardi B, and it was like purple and green. I thought that was interesting. Uh, and of course, the one I, I mentioned to my wife as I was watching the music video, I'm like, that now they're dancing in the water? Like, is this the early 2000s? Am I watching a Neo dance video? Is what, what's happening? Uh, but they did it, right? And so, once again, I really feel like Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion, first of all, this collaboration should have happened decades ago. Well, that doesn't make sense. This should have happened years ago. I say decades because I feel like they've been around for a long time, but they really haven't. They're both very young artists. And even seeing the way they work so well together makes me realize they need to do more things together. Now, I, I, once again, I'm not into the lyrics. I personally didn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really all that... Uh, you know, surprised by the dirtiness of the lyrics, but I wasn't all that impressed either, right? I mean, anyone can say dirty things, right? I think what I was impressed with more was how well they attacked the beat, right? Their musicality. I was impressed with how well they danced. Those are the things that I like. And, and I know a lot of men have been complaining about this music video, saying, ah, I see that they're, they're, they're uh, promoting women being sluts, or see that, wow, they're promoting women not not being good wives, it should shut up. Listen, women can be whatever they want. And Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion are, are any example. They are women who are successful, rich, and they have husbands. Oh, sorry, Cardi B has a husband, Meg Thee Stallion doesn't, and she doesn't need to, right? She's an independent woman, but they're doing what they want. And that's what the music video is about. So, so any guys out there who are like, oh, ugh, it, it, just stop, okay? The entire point of the music video was to empower women, to make them understand that their sexuality is is to be praised and they can use it however they want. Don't slut shame, all that crazy stuff. Great. Anybody out there who has a problem with that, don't watch the music video. Don't just, you know, go to your own private Reddit page. You know what I'm saying? Go talk about it there, but don't, don't, leave it alone. Don't go in the comment section and say anything. It is what it is, okay? So, in my personal opinion, I, I, I like the music video. I like the actual beat, you know, that they were riding off of. I like the dancing. I like the choreography. The lyrics I could do without, but other than that, I really did feel it. Now, I understood the empowerment 
aspect. I understood what Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B were going for. I don't quite, I, I saw some theories online about what WAP or WAP means, uh, but I, I don't personally know. So I'm not gonna sit here and speculate, even though this is called song theory. That's something I don't wanna speculate on because Cardi B might actually come out and say what it is. Um, but other than that, guys, I really like the music video. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's in the description below. I'll try to put it. I know I'm known for not putting it, but I'll try to put it. Uh, and of course, you know, I, once again, whatever Cardi B's got going on, I like it. I, I like her as an artist because I think she kind of goes outside of what we usually know of a female artist to do. Um, you know, she, she takes the whole sexuality thing to a whole other level. And let's not act like that's new, right? Lil' Kim did it, right? All these other artists before uh, Cardi B did it, that's where Cardi B is getting the inspiration from. So let's not sit here and act like she's the first woman artist to ever do this. It's not true. Plenty others have done it, right? So now what we're doing is let's watch her grow as an artist. Let's see what she has to do next and what, what she has to say. We all know of her past, right? The things that she said in the past about her relationships with men and robbing them after sex, we know, right? I, however, am looking forward and saying, look, if she's not doing that stuff anymore, let's see what she has to offer us in the music realm and let's just enjoy it, right? That's that's really it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If uh, you guys are interested, I have Song Theory t-shirts in the description below. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.